Welcome everyone to a new tactics video on my channel. My name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Real Madrid. All of my opinion of course based on my own playstyle at this moment. And this is the second video that I made about Real Madrid. I made a video before with two different formations and yeah. The, uh, we are a few weeks, uh, about two months maybe already, uh, into the game. Game changes a bit with updates. My opinion in the games changes because of the roles. Uh, when I made the Real Madrid video before, uh, I didn't know exactly what all the roles did. So I tried a few things out and well, I think, well, this is working really good. But after trying lots and lots of different teams and things, uh, my opinion changes, of course. And I wanted to share it with you guys for Real Madrid because this is the most popular team to play with. One request from me, please don't pick them all the time if you're playing in online seasons. It's getting boring to get an opponent that's always playing with Real Madrid. So of course you can pick them because it's a really good team, best team. Lots of good players, lots of fun, with uh, especially with Vinicius Jr. and Mbappe. But don't be that boring guy that's choosing Real Madrid all the time. Please do me a favor. And also do me a favor, drop a like under the video. It will be really helpful for me and my channel to grow. And if you're new to the channel and want to find your way back really easy, make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on. If you have a request for me, then drop it also in the comment section below. Uh, for other videos, other teams, let me know and I will see what I can do for you. And if you want to buy a jersey or a kit, then you should definitely check out the website. The link is in the description to Go Gold Shop. They sell amazing quality jerseys and shirts. I got a few of them myself and I'm really happy with them, else I would not recommend it, of course. And they are really, really cheap. It's a nice price, in my opinion, for such a quality shirt. And yeah, if you want to order one, make sure that you also use the discount codes that are in the description as well. So you get some extra off. That's always nice. All right, let's go to the tactics and let's go to the formation. That's the 4-3-3 holding formation. Uh, Build-up style still balanced for me the best way to play because counter-attack that is a bit too much running forward and sometimes you also want to uh, make some combinations and that's not really possible with this counter and um, short passing is a bit of the other side of this. This is almost not to do if you want to put a quick counter-attack if there is an opportunity the players are not running they are just coming short so you can pass really easy but yeah that's not what you want all the time at least i don't want i want some of both so balance is good sometimes people are coming short sometimes they are making runs and in my opinion this is working the best uh, defensive approach uh, i choose 45 uh, but if you wanted to put a bit higher then yeah, you can do that also with this team because they have good uh, defenders, fast defenders. So feel free to do that. You can uh, put it, but I don't recommend to put it higher on 60, but yeah, do whatever you want. For me, 45 is uh, the most balanced and, and feels the best. And if you are a casual player, just like me, then yeah, I think this is uh, the best for the best results. All right, then we're going to the squad, the lineup, Courtois, the goalkeeper, uh, Carvajal is the right defender. In uh, real time, he's injured, of course, but you can still play with him. 89 rated, really good player, not super fast, but 81 is also not that bad. But there is not really a uh, really faster option, or you should put this guy, uh, Garcia, you could put him on the right side. Also, uh, he is a bit faster, but yeah, it's he is out of possession then. And his defensive stats are also worse. So for me, Garvigal is uh, still the way to go. Um, Litao and Rudiger are uh, the center backs. And Mandi is on the left side. Joamini is the defensive midfielder. In my opinion, the best defensive midfielder in the game. Uh, Bellingham and Valverde are the central midfielders. Both fantastic players. 92 and 90 rated. Uh, De Rodrigo uh, on the right side of the attack. Mbappe is a striker and Vinicius Jr. is the left winger. I see people switching them. If you like that, you could definitely do that. But for me, because Mbappe's shooting is, is way better than Vinicius Jr.'s shooting is. And in my play style, how I am playing, 
my striker is uh, scoring the most goals. That sounds really, uh, <laughs> really logic, of course. Uh, but uh, yeah, some people maybe are just uh, have a different play style, and then maybe the left winger is scoring more goals, getting more scoring opportunities. Then I can understand why you switch them. But for me, uh, the best shooter should be in the center, and that's the striker possession. So for me, there's a way. Uh, then we're going to the roles really important Courtois goes to sweep a keeper uh, because that's his best role uh, wing back on balanced for Carvajal um, this guy is on stopper Militao Rudiger is on a defender and Mandi is also on wing back with defense uh, then we have Chouameni he is on holding and defense so he's the most defensive midfielder of course uh, Bellingham and Valverde both box to box. This is for CD, uh, for a central midfielder, in my opinion, the best role there is. Also, if it's not the best role for this player because there's not a green plus, but uh, Bellingham doesn't have that on this possession. I don't know if Valverde has it. Yeah, he has it on playmaker. He also has it on half winger, but f that doesn't matter for me, especially not for that this position. Box to box for CM is uh, is the best because they are defending, they are also attacking. Both are really all-round, high-rated players, so they can do both really good. They are not getting tired because they have enough stamina. So, yeah, use them in the in the defense and also in the attack with this role. Then we have on the right side, uh, Rodrigo is on uh, inside forward, focused on balanced, really important. Um, then we have Mbappe advanced forward, focused on attack. And then on the left side, we have Vinicius Jr. He is on the inside forward and focused on attack. So Rodrigo is on balance and Vinicius Jr. is on attack. And sometimes it's like you are playing with two strikers because Vinicius Jr. is going to attack and inside forward. Rodrigo is staying a bit more, uh, yeah, a bit more behind, uh, but also still really attacking. But if you put them both on attack, then sometimes it's really hard to make combinations between the three attackers because they are so close to each other. And if your opponent has a really uh, small defense, then it's really hard to create chances. So that's why I have a variation between uh, the focus with Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr. Um, then we can go to the assignments as well. Uh, Captain Carvajal, uh, yeah, you can choose whoever you want, it doesn't matter. Uh, free kicks, uh, yeah, they are on Mbappe. Um, normally, I would say uh, uh, Modric, but yeah, he's not in the team. You could also say, uh, let's put it on Rodrigo because his accuracy is, is better. Um, but yeah, there is, in my opinion, not a really, really good free kick taker in this squad, as you can see. So it doesn't matter that much with this team. I would say take the... Uh, free kick short don't shoot them at once because the chance that you are going to score is not really big uh long free kicks the same i have it on volverda but again take it short and then build up an attack and uh, try to score that way because hitting it at once you're not going to succeed at least if you are a really good player maybe but i don't uh then we have the penalties uh, i would say mbappe because he should be the best uh, penalty taker in this team, as you can see, if you're looking at penalties. Uh, then we're going to the corner kicks, and that should go to uh, Vinicius Jr. Because the crossing, in my opinion, is uh, the most um, important. So crossing so for Vinicius Jr., both left side, right side. Then we're going to the corner kick instructions. I didn't change them. I don't change them. Militao, uh, target player, near post, Rudiger, back post, Mbappe. Uh, again, I said it before, I'm not a specialist at taking corner kicks. Uh, what I do at the moment is uh, hitting to the penalty spot around two, three bars. And then uh, the player at the near post, that is Rudiger, is trying to head the ball into the goal. And Rudiger is the tallest player. And strongest player, good at heading, uh, not really good at finishing, but heading accuracy is pretty good. Jumping is good, and he is already tall, so that's the reason why he is on the near post for me, because I'm aiming at the first post, and yeah, try to score with Rudiger. All right, 
um yeah that's it for this video try it out yourself let me know in the comments what you think of it what your results were i'm really curious about that hopefully it will give you some wins and some fun and makes you playing better viva or fc25 i need to say thank you very much for watching have a good day bye bye mm -hmm.